Hi everybody, welcome. If you haven't been here before, I'm Joey, and I've got some really cute cards that you can make in just five minutes. I'm gonna say they're five minute cards that you can make with designer series paper, and you can make them with any paper that you have on hand. Okay, here's, here's why I'm doing this. So I am in the process of taking my retired products um, out for my buy one get one free sale and I'm finding I have a lot of designer paper that I haven't used so and a lot of scraps so if you're like me maybe you also do that and you need some ideas for how to use up your scraps and how to make a fast card so we're gonna do that um, in a short order I'm just going to get myself pulled up on my iPad. I hope I'm, I'm in the right place. <laughs> I don't see anyone popping on quite yet. It does sometimes take Facebook a few minutes to get things going so that people can see you. So if you're coming on, please say hi. Let me know where you're from. Oh, there's Diane. So yay. Okay, I'm in the right place. Hi, Diane. Diane, how are you and all the kitties today? Diane takes care of a lot of kitties on her property. She lives in the country um, on a farm that her husband grew up in, and she keeps a lot, takes care of a lot, takes care of a lot of kitties. Alrighty, I think, okay, so now I know I'm in the right place. If you're watching on YouTube, um, I would invite you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the video and click the notification bell. Um, I'll give you a heads up. This is a recording of a Facebook Live. So there will be some chatting, some answering of questions, some giving information, more than just showing how to make the cards. So I hope you're, you'll be here with us for that, and I hope you'll enjoy that, but just letting you know ahead of time. Alrighty, let's go ahead and... Let's get started here. I have my project in a bin today. So, because I have a lot of products to show today, I'm not really focusing on one project. I'm focusing on the techniques to show you how to, I'm getting everything organized here, how to make some quick cards with your designer series scraps. And uh, that's the main focus. I am showing products that are retiring. Oh, hi, Liz came on. Hi. Um, Diane said it's windy, but sunny and cool, and she's in Minnesota. I, oh, no. Is it Minnesota, or is it one of the Dakotas? Sorry, Diane just left, left my mind, and Liz is on. Yay! Okay, um, let me, I have to flip the phone down, and I, then I've got everything ready. So hang on here. I don't have a very sophisticated sophisticated way of doing this so I just have to click a toolbar here and then I'll go upside down but yeah oops <laughs> well there that was a little fun escapade and then it takes a moment for Facebook to kind of get for me to get everything in the picture that's supposed to be there and everything out of the picture that isn't supposed to be there <laughs> We'll bring the phone out. I just use my iPhone. It's just on a little stand here. And it takes a moment. It's crooked. Yes, yeah, pretty crooked. And that was probably too far. Let's come back. Oh, I did good though getting the lamp right in the, um, the hostess code so that it doesn't glare as much on the screen. <laughs> I think I'm going to move this over just a tad bit again. All right, my friends, this is a card that I got from my, oh yeah, South Dakota. Diane's in South Dakota. Liz is in Minnesota. I knew Liz was in Minnesota. For a moment, I thought maybe Diane was, but up there in those, what I would say, northern states. <laughs> okay. Let me show you this card. I got this in a swap. This is a swap card. When we have a new catalog, demonstrators get together and choose each chooses one stamp set and then everybody makes like so many cards of the, however many people are participating, like 21 or 16 or eight uh, cards of that same uh, product and then we swap them like a Christmas cookie swap. This one I got in the last January through April mini catalog swap. I just thought it was really cute and it was easy and I thought let's 
let's just make that today because that is a card. Here, I'll leave it up here for a minute. That's a card you can make with any designer series paper. All right. So what I'm using today, I'm not, we're not doing the coffee today. We're doing balloons actually. And so I just wanted to bring your attention to the fact that the beautiful balloons bundle, so the stamps and the dies are retiring. We are gonna use one of these dies today, but just to let you know what they look like, let me grab, grab them really quick and show you. So this die makes a fringe. If you're wondering what in the heck does that die do, it makes, a fringe there are several stars which i love so there's these little confetti with stars and these two stars there's several balloon dies and then there's a cute tag die i thought maybe these would carry over but they are retiring at the end of april so if you're interested in these just know that they are not sticking around um and i just realized <laughs> one thing i didn't do was to get my stamps on a block. So let me grab, we're gonna make this a birthday card. Well, actually no, this is a celebration card. This set actually, it can be for birthdays, but it can be for any celebration. That's one reason I picked it. Um, it's one reason I picked this set. Sorry, I was distracted looking at the comments for a minute. Um, well, yeah, I really got distracted. I lost my train of thought completely. I'm going to have to say I might not look at comments for a few minutes until I get going on this card because I obviously can't keep track of it. And here's how I get stamped straight, of which I didn't get that one straight. I'm lining this up. Now, uh, this glass mat was something that demonstrators got as part of joining in the recent join special. I'm lining it up on this line, and then I'm also going to look through my block to line it up on the grid so that my stamp is straight because that helps me. That helps me get it straight when I'm ready to stamp with it. Uh, but you can get grid paper. So in our annual catalog, there's grid paper and it's fabulous for stamping on. I've always been using that. Um, except when I got my glass mat, I really, really do like crafting on my glass mat. For one thing, you don't have to use a, um, this kind of a mat, I can't think of the name of it. I always forget names of everything on Facebook Live, but this is a piercing mat. I just cover it with paper just so I don't get my ink on it. But so with photopolymer stamps, to get the best image, you need that mat. Uh, this mat, this glass mat happens to have cushion under it. It's almost a half inch thick, not quite that, but and so it stamps really well with photopolymer. I don't have to get the piercing mat out. Sometimes with adhesive, you have to kind of uh, use your thumb to re to get it to move up more on the little spoolie thing. That's the technical word, the little spoolie thing, because you just do. I don't know why you do. Oh, this might not be the right. No, this doesn't fit. Okay, hang on. Let's get. I've got another one that I know is going to fit because I just cut them this morning. So it should be four inches by five and a quarter. Let's check this one out before we put adhesive on it. Well, this is a little smaller, smaller than that, but we're going to use it. This looks like it's three, four, three and three fourths by five, but that'll work okay for the inside because we're just getting white down here so we can write on the white. Liz says she did not get a card with, uh, let me grab my tool here. Oh, for Pete's sakes. She, Liz says she didn't get a card made with the fringe, so I think that's so cool. Did not get a card made. It is cool. Liz, it's really cool, and I didn't pull out my... You know, if life were perfect, I would have pulled out all of my cards made with um, the balloon. And I have several made with the fringe, but I, you know, life, my life doesn't go that 
easy where that's where I have time to do all the little things, but hopefully I did enough of them that today you can see some ideas of how to use your designer paper up and how to make a quick card. All right, so for this card, all these little scraps of paper, and I know you all have the scraps of paper that you could cut into this size, are one and one fourth by, let's see, one and one fourth by one and three fourths. And for whatever reason, I have about four bone folders, but do you think I could put my hand on one? Here's one. These are also in the catalog. If you don't have one, they're great for piercing, pier not piercing, pushing, I don't know, scoring words, people. I don't know. You're going to have to probably just bear with me today for the words because I'm scattered. You're probably going, really? I hadn't noticed. All right, this is how I do things like this that are on a grid. So I'll show you how I do this because I'm not one to get out a ruler for this. You could, and I might do it just to show you what I would do if I used a ruler, but I'm just going to put these first strips in the corners and I already know what pattern I'm going to use so you would just need to know what pattern you're going to have and I'm putting equal distance down here from here okay and I do have my paper here on I'm holding my cardstock on the grid so I can kind of tell what's going on there and then I also know that I'm going to do this co this corner so I'm going to do the corners First, and I'm letting about one eighth of an inch around like so, like there. And now I'm going to just put this pattern down the way I want it to be so that I don't have to think about it. Putting, let's see, this one goes in the middle and then, and this doesn't even look like I cut it straight. Yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> I try to plan very carefully and be very organized for Facebook Live, and then somehow it all goes awry. So that's our basic pattern. And we're going to... This still doesn't look right, does it? It looks like these are too long. One and three fourths. I bet they were supposed to be one and five eight. That's helpful, isn't it? All right, kids, we got to remeasure this. Hang on. To get my ruler. I don't see my clear one, so I'm going to grab this one. Let's go to, yeah, let's go to this card. We might have to cut these. Uh -huh. It looks like just under one and three eighths, like one of five eighths plus, which a plus means a sixteenth. All right, we're going to cut these real quick here. Um, these aren't taped down. So we're going to go to get my trimmer out here. We're going to go to one. I've got them at one and three fourths, I think. Let's double check everything. Yeah, one and three fourths. So we're going to go. I'm going to cut three at a time. You can do that with your trimmer. And I'm going to go to one. One eighth inch, one sixteenth inch smaller. Does that make sense? And we're going to be trying to be really careful to get this straight. Okay, so let's try that again with these guys. I'm actually going to try and go ahead and cut four here. So I'm going to go to one and three fourths again, and then I'm going to go to just one sixteenth under that. Does that make sense? Oh, I did four, so you can do that if you need to know that. And now we need to just kind of gently peel these off. So you need to be one sixteenth inch smaller than one and three eighths. I hate to give measurements like that, but that is going to be the best way to get these to fit. Let's see, I don't want those stuck to each other. So let's go ahead and cut them like this. We'll get back down here to our one and three fourths and then go back down one sixteenth of an inch. Of course, the adhesive is kind of sticky, so bear with me here. I want it to be straight. It's kind of important these are straight. <laughs> okay, so much for a five-minute card. Join me for more tips and tricks that may or may not work out in the video. Okay, let's try that again. If this doesn't work, we're just going to glue them down anyway. I'm going to go back to my adhesive. 
which I just dropped, so I have another one here. I think when we talked, when we had our Facebook Live last week and Liz was on, I think we talked about me needing an assistant for Facebook Live. <laughs> oh my goodness. So for this one, I'm actually going to go, I know what my pattern's going to be. This is my pattern. So, and I like this pattern and it worked. So I thought I cut these at one and three fourths, but it might be just a little, let's check it out here and see if we're going to work out okay. And so we need a dot for this one. Oh gosh, I just heard Teddy. Oh, there we go. I don't know. I still feel like it should have been one and three fourths and maybe I gave up too soon. You know what? I did a um, eye making. It's, it's it's all done except for proofing it. A uh, template uh, product. What am I trying to say? A project sheet. And I'm putting on a little more adhesive on these. And I will make sure the measurements are right on that project sheet and I will publish it on my blog. So you'll go to createwithjoey.com. It's not there right now. It will be there by the end of the day. So make sure you go to createwithjoey.com and then let's do this one. I don't know. I think I might've gotten afraid too soon because there's a bigger space between these papers than I think on my original, maybe not. We're gonna go with this, kids, because this was supposed to take five minutes and we are beyond five minutes. This one goes here and this one goes here. I'm gonna do the outside one first. I find it easiest, what I was trying to say earlier before I got befuddled with the sizes of my paper, um, to do the outside corners, this is actually how I do my big 12 by 12 samplers when I make them. I put the outside corners in first because then I find you can, you know, you can kind of move around your inside piece to be equal between the two outside pieces. Does that make sense? So I'm kind of looking at these two and wanting my space between them to be about the same. And also, I think I didn't cut these the same as this. Good Lord. This will be right on my uh, project sheet. And it will be right on your one and a fourth. Is this one and a fourth? Yes. I don't know. I have no idea why this doesn't look the same as my other one. But we're, we're going to finish this card and we're going to be happy with it. Right? <laughs> okay. Then this one will go here. And let's do our other purple one here. Which, where is it? Come on. There we go. Okay, so this is going to go in this corner. I'm going to do that one next. Anyway, I will double check my measurements on my project sheet and you will be able to get it. Now, that's not the full-fledged PDF. So if you put in a $40 order or more by Sunday night, you'll get the full PDF. So the PDF has the photos of everything and, and also um, a close-up photo and then the measurements and the um, instructions for each card plus what I used on it. The project sheet will not have that. So I did print the project sheet, but I haven't uploaded it yet. So it's going to look like this. It'll just have one photo. It'll have the dimensions of the card that I used and then also a product list. So that's the project sheet. If you put in a $40 order uh, by Sunday night, you get this class. That's what I was trying to say. I didn't get that all finished. You get this, all the parts for this class for free. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm kind of just looking in between all my spaces and trying to get them equal. And then this one goes here and then this one goes here. So let's do this one next the outside ones and then we'll fit in the inside one like so now as i said you could get a ruler to do this but then it's not going to be five minutes and i know this one isn't five minutes too and i've got something wrong in my patterns what do i have wrong this is right this is right this is not right 
So this five minute card that is now gonna take closer to half an hour, <laughs> we'll be done shortly. As soon as I get my patterns right. Now I have another piece that goes. Did I get this whole thing screwed up? Yes. Goodness gracious. Okay, go get a piece of, or a cup of coffee or a drink. If I could get to alcohol right now, I would do it. I'm gonna do this again. Oh, thanks for hanging with me. If you're hanging with me so far, you are a true friend. Okay, so that's, no, that's not right either. Should I just throw out this card? I think what I'll do is just show you the finished card because good Lord, I can't seem to get this together. Okay, this goes here. And what's on that? Oh, ripped paper. All right, my friends, um, if your crafting goes like this, put a note in the comments. If your crafting doesn't go like this, I'm not sure we can be friends, but I'll try. Just saying. You know, I watch those, the videos of people who have been doing this a lot longer than me. Okay, that's it. That's going to be good enough. And then, and they are, and what I started to say is they are polished and everything goes perfectly. Of course, they're making videos as opposed to Facebook Live because Facebook Live is a whole nother creature. All right, I have cut this balloon out of the dies that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And I also used this, this shimmery paper that is in, I have to look at what the name of this paper is. It is called Soft Shimmer 12 by 12 Paper. I love it. It's re, I think it's retiring. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, it is because it has, does it have some ink colors in it? It might have some ink colors in it. I'm putting a dimensional on the back. A dimensional is just a little a glue product that has foam. It's like, it's a foam adhesive. And I'm putting that on a vellum circle. Now this circle, we don't have vellum anymore. It has sold out and we're not gonna have it in the next catalog, but this vellum is still in. It's called Vellum Basics. And it's still available. And I love it. There's three patterns of Vellum Basics. So there's, you probably cannot see this. I don't know if you can see the little polka dots. And then one is stripes, and then one is leaf, a leaf pattern. And I have used it and used it and used it, and I've really enjoyed it. Okay, so we're gonna stick this balloon down here. And if you're, you know, your rectangles aren't perfect, like obviously mine aren't because we just had a mess today, literally. Um, that covers it up so you know you're good there are no mistakes in crafting just chances for embellishment that's what i always say all right now i'm going to use the baker's twine three color pack this is not retiring i put notes on my every most everything today so i would know to tell you what's going to be around and what's not going to be around all right let's take this um uh, Kathy, Kathy's on, she's going. <laughs> Liz, Liz goes something about creativity. There are moments, no mistakes, just creativity. That's right. Now Liz and I have been friends for a long time. Let's see, how do I want this to go? You know, so she's gonna say something nice to me because we are longtime friends. We both love, uh, traditional classic choral music. I taught it for 30 years and Liz sang, and still sings, but she sang in some very prestigious Minnesota choirs. And anyway, we can make mistakes with each other stamping and we don't care. And I know Kathy Sanford, she's saying, Joey, we like to see you mess up. You know, you are my true friends because you come back. You come back, so you must like to see me mess up. <laughs> oh, my, I love you guys, too. I love you. I love you. I can't even tell you. You know, this is my most time-consuming activity event that I do on my Facebook Live. 
because my husband is trying to help me look at, oh, I didn't even pull out ink pads, so there we go. Um, we're gonna use balmy blue because I am just putting in so many hours. This is my full-time job. I'm just, I thought there was something else on my ink, on my stamp. I guess it's just dirty. <laughs> um, I, I do need to, I'm trying to do better with my time management to get better balance between stamping and life. And he said, what, what's your most time consuming thing? And I said, well, Facebook Live. And he goes, well, what about cutting back on that? And I said, but that's the thing I actually enjoy the most. And I enjoy it because it is interactive. Now, my people that watch on YouTube, I love you and appreciate you too very much. Um, and I do answer your comments when you make comments. We're going to cut this back. This is too fat. I don't like that. So we're going to cut this just a tad bit more here. Can you see what I'm doing? Just going at the same angle, but I'm just making it not so big. Anyway, um, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't want to cut back on my Facebook Live, but I do do a tutorial. I put all the cards up on my blog, or at least most of them. Sometimes I don't get all, all of them up on my blog. Um... I, you know, take photos and do the marketing. It is very time consuming. There we go, kids. We actually got this card done for Pete's sakes. So my one five minute card is probably gonna take my whole time on Facebook today, right? There you go. So if you hang with me, bless your hearts. And if you don't, I totally get it. <laughs> I'm not sure I would hang with me. And I'm embellishing with the beautiful rainbow matte dots. These are not retiring. They are hanging in with us. I don't know if they show the best on there, but they show better on this one. We're going to go with it because we've already spent like an hour on this card that was supposed to be five minutes. So anyway, as I said, hang with me. I forgot to say this vellum circle, I punched with a two and three eighths punch. My whole point of showing you quicker cards was to do things that you could use with your scraps and that you could punch out so i did do the die cutting on the balloon but that was the only die cutting this is punched out this is just a strip of paper so had i not messed up like ten thousand ways on this this would have taken five minutes so there you go there's our first card oh thank you kathy uh all right hang on here let me get to my next card i will read your comments if i don't get them commented all on um, it's because I am trying to actually use my time efficiently. <laughs> Might not seem like that, my friends, but there's our first card. So there we go. Um, let me switch my boxes around because I usually don't have boxes. I just have piles of my projects. But, oh, one more thing. But today I have boxes, I was starting to say. So... You guys, the paper I use, so this, the stamp set, the balloons are retiring, and this lighter than air paper is retiring. It's not on sale, but it is retiring, and that's what we use today for that, for that card. Okay, let's move on. The next card I'm going to use, Poetic Expressions. This is also retiring. This was in the uh, mini catalog, so I just want to show this to you quick. This is not obviously my scraps. This is my six by six samples that I used to show on Facebook. And, but I did have a lot of scraps in my 12 by 12 bag. And that's what we're gonna do next. So this card, we're going to use strips. Last one we used rectangles. And on this one, we're gonna do kind of the same idea, only we're gonna use strips. So if we, do let's do i've already cut my strips and i hope i cut them right you know lord heavens lord help me on this facebook today because it's i need it oh and of course these aren't cut right either look at this they're supposed to fit on there okay so let's we're gonna good lord everybody 
Uh, thank you for watching. If you quit now, I totally get it. I understand. If you stay with me, Lord love you. And I do too. I think these are maybe supposed to be three-fourths. No, one inch. And these are one inch. Okay, we're going to go with this, people. I think they have to just be butted up to each other. Let's. This is the card. And let's go with these strips go this way oh i almost got it the same way so what i'm going to do with this one is kind of the same idea that i did on my other one i like the way my pattern went here so i'm going to go back to that i felt like this darker pattern kind of anchored the card if you hear my puppy teddy he's whining i did take him out right before i went live of course but so who knows what's going to happen between now and when I get done with Facebook Live. He's been really, really, really good with alerting us to going. Now, these are four, one by four strips, and I did that purposely because um, your DSP, when you cut one strip by, if you cut one strip, one, one 12-inch strip, Lord, Joey taught, one 12-inch strip cut, in four inches in um, pieces gives you three exact pieces, right? Kind of afraid to really stick this down because I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, let's go with with my spacing, I'm just saying. So let's, let's make sure this is gonna work before I get, no, it doesn't look like it's right, does it? All right, we're gonna just do, who cares? We're just gonna, we're just gonna, let's put the middle one down and then we'll just make the other two fit. Anyway, take your strips, cut them in whatever size you just wanna make and then just put them down in your card and then just say, okay, that's good, that's good. I'm using up my strips, that's my point. I will have this right on the, um, both the PDF and the, I'm just going to lay this over the top of those two on the PDF and the um, project sheet. Two different things. You get the PDF when you put in an order. You also get all the supplies for the cards I'm making today. And if you put in a $50 order, you also get an embellishment from me. Okay. You know, it's not the same idea. I don't know why this one has spaces and this one doesn't. But obviously there's something... That went wrong somewhere but you know that's okay we're gonna go with it let's tie some ribbon around this again another five minute card that's gonna take oh 30 minutes <laughs> i could do this in five minutes if i really had to but i don't think i could do it on faith facebook live that probably would not work out Liz says she, um, oh, Diane, you love the colors on the balloon card, I'm guessing you're talking about. I love the colors in that paper. That is one of my all-time favorite papers, that lighter-than-air paper. That lighter-than-air paper, friends, um, was part of the lighter-than-air suite of products um, in the mini catalog. And if you're not, if you're watching, you go, well, I don't know what the mini catalog is. I don't really know that much about Stampin' Up. Um, it's a, well, it's kind of what the name is. It's just a mini catalog. We have an annual catalog that goes all year of our Stampin' Up year. It starts in May. Um, so we have a new catalog coming soon. If you don't have one and you want one, let me know. If you don't have a Stampin' Up demonstrator, I'm happy to get one to you. And then the, the, the mini catalogs come twice a year. So once in January and then once in September. Okay, so there's that. Now, the, the, you know, had I not had boo-boos with my sizes on this, that would have been faster than it was. And then again, we're going to our punches to make a quick card. Um, I'm using for the sentiment, the perennial postage. I wanted to let you know that the stamps the stamp sets retiring but the dies stay so the dies these are the dies for this i'm not using those today because we're trying to make fast cards so we're using punches but the stamp set um is retiring 
You can get the bundle still for $51.25. It's still available at a 10% discount if you get both of those. Um, but just know that you won't be able to continue to get this. Well, Joey, you might. Oh, yeah, I've got my stamps out. Um, you won't be able to continue to get the stamps. You will be able to continue to get the dies. We're going to use our same balmy blue. It goes with this. I think, did I use balmy blue? Yeah. This is balmy blue, that color, so I did use it. Then we're going to make a Mother's Day card. Um, I don't have my mother, but we have Steve's mom. And I send Mother's Day card to uh, one of my niece, my niece in Colorado, my brother's daughter. And I give Mother's Day cards to people that aren't my mom. Um, but usually my nieces are what, who I give them to. Then we're going to take just a one and three fourths inch punch again. But your punches are your best friend when you want to make a card in a hurry. Uh, they're faster than getting out your die cutting machine. They're more convenient than getting out your die cutting machine. And then I did go ahead and just cut this dazzle. Uh, this is paper that's retiring. It comes in one pack. You get, I think, four six by six peaches, pieces of each. And it it has gold so four are silver and four are gold liz says still pretty without the faces she's my friend <laughs> diane no judgment here it's good and i know you girls come back so i know you kind of know what you're getting in for when you come even though i really tried to do it with you know not being all these issues that pop up all right, so I'm going to, I put my circle off center. I just kind of like the way that looked. Now, there's no, you know, there's not a lot of mess and fuss on this card. So it's just a quick card. If you don't need Mother's Day, you can use this template. My hope is today that you can use these templates for any cards, any stamp set. Because I know you all, if you've stamping, been stamping at all, even for a day, you have something with words in it. So you can use this, and if you don't have designer series paper, then I'm not sure I can be, really be friends with you either because we all have designer series paper. So there's our two cards for Mother's Day. Now, you could fuss this up. Oh, we can't. It's not complete without bling. I'm down to my last few gems of the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels they're called and it's hard to see them there i see that you can't even see them but so you can see i'm down to the end of them these are so pretty and they pick up the color of what's underneath them so i'm going to go ahead and put some gems here i kind of like the way they looked with the dazzle paper the more dazzle paper it's called more dazzle i don't know if i said that but so we're going up here and then we're going down here like so and then they kind of just sparkle and glitter can you see can you see the sparkle not as much as if you were here with me now i'm too close let's try it there can you see it you can see it a little bit so that's good all right so that's card number five minute card number two that also took longer than five minutes but hey we're on a roll the paper i used for this is called poetic expressions this was in the annual or the january through april catalog it is retiring i'll just show you quick what and i stuck with the blues and the greens but there are pinks oh, can you see it i'm not even in the film but this side has pinks and golds this is wild wheat i love that pattern okay that so that is retiring it's called poetic expressions if you want to take a screenshot while you're doing that i'll go ahead and get out my next card Get everything ready and that away and again if you download the um, the project sheet it has everything I'm using it just doesn't have directions but otherwise it has everything I'm using today so that you can see that if you're interested so you don't miss it 
All right, my next card is going to be with the Inked and Tiled Punch Pack. This is the stamp set. I did use this stamp set quite a bit when it first came out in the catalog. I really love this artwork that's kind of airy, kind of watercolory, and there are a lot of nice greetings in here. Uh, the stamp set is $27. Um, if you buy the bundle, it has two punches in it. Um, this punch, and then I guess I didn't grab the other punch, but the other punch has like, um a cross kind of like that so i should have grabbed that i i just missed it but anyway um the right now the punch pack was 40 and it's 32 so that's on sale so it's cheaper for you to not buy the bundle if you want both of these buy the stamp set and the punch separately so you'll get a better price Okay, let's go ahead and make this card. This card. Let's see if I can actually make one in five minutes or at least closer to five minutes. All right, so this is a card we're gonna make for this. I'm gonna grab a piece of Starry Sky. Now this, these are the end colors that are retiring. Kinda of tried to do multiple things in this video. I tried to show you some things that i really love that are retiring i also my main point was to show you how to make some fast cards so far i think i'm not succeeding in that <laughs> at all but you're getting hopefully you're getting some ideas for how you can use up your designer series paper and then another thing i wanted to point out things that are retiring especially the new in colors because i love them I wish they were staying forever. This is gonna be the inside of my card. I'm not one that always does decorate or stamp on the inside of my card. Sometimes I kind of leave them because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use them for. So sometimes I don't put a greeting or anything on the inside, but this is Starry Sky. It's one of the ones that's retiring. I'm gonna have some of the other colors in the DSP. Also this DSP, um, is the in 2022 slash 24 in color designer series paper. This piece of paper is three by four. I'm putting on a mat that's just one eighth inch bigger, which is three and one eighth by four and one eighth. And put this down here like so. Now let's do our greeting. So I am using a stamp from this stamp set. Um, there is a happy birthday greeting here in this stamp set that I talked to you about. Let's go ahead and, and again, I didn't pull my ink pad, but they're handy. So I'm going to use Sweet Sorbet, one of my all-time favorite colors ever. We used to have a color called Watermelon. Was it Watermelon Wonder? Liz or whoever's out there watching that remembers colors like that. And then we have a water. We I know we had a watermelon something. This is similar to that. I love it. It's kind of a light poppy parade, I would say. And I love poppy parade too. But and you could probably get very close to this by um Stamping off Poppy Parade. I'm gonna, oops, I want this to be the... Oh, this oval punch is also retiring. What am I doing here? And I'm going to punch out the happy birthday. I'm trying to just kind of center it while I lean over my, my phone stand. There we go. This, my friends, is retiring. This is a long used loved punch is $22 and it's going away so if you don't have it this is the one thing I'm just going to tell you you should get then I'm going to punch out the little bigger oval the scalloped oval but again if you are trying to be quick about it, these are, the punches are your best bets. Now I'm gonna get out some other colors of this paper. So here's the Sweet Sorbet again. And 
The other color is Tahitian Tide. And this, this is Tahitian Tide, the blue. And then the green is Parakeet Party. My Brady puppy is down at my legs. He's not Brady, Teddy. Brady was our old dog. We don't have him anymore. But we have Teddy, and Teddy's very busy right now down by my feet. <laughs> the other color in this group of colors that is this one, Orchid, Orchid Oasis. So this is, I, I love this color. I would call this Periwinkle, but those are your colors that are retiring, plus the blue and the green. So these are leaving. This DSP is actually on sale for half price. So um, it's 20, 22, 24 DS, designer series paper, and it's, ha it's down to 750. So if you like these colors and you like this paper, this would be a good, a good purchase for you so you don't miss out on it. I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere my oval to my scalloped oval. I'm gonna put that on my card first because I'm gonna kind of gear where I put those other little star shaped punch up punch outs according to where I have my label on here. And this is gonna kind of bump out from that mat we have right there. Then let's see, I'm gonna put dimensionals on the backs of these guys. This one's gonna go kind of down here. And then we'll use, we'll go with the hearts next and then we'll go with the polka dots last. I like polka dots a lot. I don't like polka dot pretty much everything. I'm gonna kind of scoot, scoot this in here. And then this guy kind of, I think I'll put him kind of underneath that just to give the card some color and make it an easy card. Then I'm gonna pull out the Parakeet Party ribbon, metallic ribbon. It's also on sale for $5.40. It was four, yeah, $5.40, it was $9. We're gonna take some of this and it is retiring. Some things have sold out, but not everything. There are some things, and these things were all available as of Yesterday, when I was um, putting together my tutorial and the project sheet. So, as of yesterday, everything I'm showing you was still available. So, if you're interested in it, don't hesitate to, to get it just because it won't stay. Okay? Now, this ribbon is so pretty. It's kind of shimmery. And I'm all about the shimmer. Those of you that watch me very much, you know that we're all about the shimmer and the sparkle. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just kind of tuck this in next to my happy birthday. Um, kind of like so. And then let's go ahead and put some bling on this. Now for this, I used the uh, In Color Pearls. And I'm sorry, this this is sold out. These, these sold out actually fairly early in the sale. So these are not available. I do have a few packs of these. I'll be putting these in customer kits. As in, you know, this class to go kit. That's trying to kind of follow my pattern here. I'm trying to not put all the three the same. These are really pretty. I'm putting three on each one just to bling it up. You know, I've got them to use, so now I'm gonna use them. That's kind of the way I was feeling about the DSP when I was taking it out of my, my uh, storage is like, good heavens, I have all this DSP. I still, even though I try to use it, I still don't use it all. It's like, does anybody else have that problem? Do you have a lot of designer series paper you Okay, let's face it, it's hoarding. Does anybody else hoard designer series paper like me? Or am I by myself? I think that was close to five minutes. I think I made one that was close to five minutes, you guys. So there we go, there's that one. That's card number three. And now we have card number four. 
no, that's, yeah, card number three, and then we have one more left. So this last card, and let me pull up your comments. Sorry, my screen went blank. Um, and the comments are not caught up, so let me do a little catch up on my computer. There we go. Okay, so Liz says she uses her double. No, Kathy said she uses her double. Well, both these girls use their double oval punches a lot. Yes, it's one of my go-to colors too, or um, punches too, girls. And you love the colors in the Starry Sky? I do. Well, I love Starry Sky. Now, I thought the Orchid Oasis was going to be my absolute favorite in that group of colors. And actually, it ended up... Um, being Starry Sky, I just used it a lot, but I love it. And I love the oval, double oval punch. So if you guys don't have that, um, I know you would love it using it. You would use it a lot. So don't miss out on it if you don't have it yet. All right, my friends, for this card, okay, here's the secret. I didn't buy, I, did, I bought this paper for my papers here because I always do a new catalog. I'm gonna have, I think I'm running out of glue. I'm gonna have to grab my Tombow. I mean, I'm running out of my stamp and seal. Actually, I have two here, but as life would have it, they both look like they're running out, but you know. Let's see, do I have anything on the inside of this card? I don't think I do, so I'm just gonna go with glue. There's nothing wrong with glue, you just can't move it. Once, it, you, once it's decided it's done moving, it's done moving. So Kathy hoards her DSP, Liz, it's hard to use the last of a favorite paper. It is so hard. I don't know. I think I know for myself. I'll speak for myself. I love looking at beautiful paper. Well, how can we not? You know, it's so pretty. It makes you happy just to look at it. And I think, you know, those of us with paper craft and that have gone whole hog into paper crafting we we just like paper it's just the way it is and so it's hard to use it but here's the thing girls then then we're, we want to buy more paper so we really need to use it so that um where's my sample card oh here it is we need to use it because we'll buy more and that's the thing and then it just keeps growing and we keep using some of the new but then we hoard some of the new and then we run out of storage who run what am i using mini glue dots on this for i i'm just like delirious <laughs> and i slept pretty good last night i actually had a pretty productive morning and i don't know what's going it's facebook live something goes wrong with my brain when i'm on facebook here we go. Liz knows me personally. She might say, well, it's kind of true in real life, too. But it seems exaggerated on Facebook. <laughs> All right, here's my, my truth about this card that I'm making. I bought this paper from my paper share. I did not buy the coordinating stamp set. It's called Nature Sweetness, and there was a whole... There was a whole suite of products with it. And you guys, I started to make, I pulled out my, it was I was pulling out a paper. I thought, I have not even used this paper. So I am going to make a card with it. And I don't have, since I said, I told you, I don't have the suite of products. On that side, there's um, gold. And then on the other side, there is basic gray. Oh, this is gray granite, I think. Gray granite and copper clay. And they're so pretty together. I just, I don't know. I didn't pull it out and work with it. I didn't have the suite of products, so I didn't make anything with it. Um, it is, I have it here. It is not retiring. At least it didn't have a red not retiring sign next to it. Now, since I didn't have the stamp set, so I'm all over the place on this card, but what's new? So I didn't have the, the stamp set. So look at this paper. I just... The piece I had, had had this along the edge, so I just cut out this along the edge. 
<clears throat> you could cut out that whole thing, or you could cut out bits that are on the sides. But when you have a designer paper that has, you know, images in it that are complete images that are big enough to put on a card, you can actually just, I gotta think, gotta think for a minute, so time for me to think instead of talk. You can just cut out those images with your scissors, fussy cut them, and it makes your paper go further. Now this piece of DSP is one and what? One and, one and a half, yep, one and a half by five and a half, and it's gonna go all the way to the edge of my paper like this. And then we're just gonna scoop this one in next to it. Um, this is one of those pieces you hate putting glue on one side of it. Naturally, I think I will use glue for this one. I wish you guys could see Teddy. He's under my desk and he's licking my leg and pawing my foot. Yeah, I didn't corral him today, big mistake. I didn't confine him to his crate today or even one of the pens because he's been so good about just, you know, kind of hanging out and doing his own thing. This strip is in that paper. All this is from that same paper set. This is one half by five and a half, like so. Looks like these are a little bit long. So let's go ahead and trim those off with our paper snips. I'm just gonna come in here and just trim along the very top here. So sometimes that happens on your paper trimmer, you're just a teeny bit over, but better over than under. So let's go ahead and put this on here. This is my same go-to size of three by four. Then you can get 12 of these from every, um, yeah, 12, is that right? One, two, three, four, six nine okay yeah nine from every piece of no three by four twelve twelve of these for for every twelve by twelve piece of designer series paper i don't know maybe i should go to more reels where i just don't talk <laughs> and this by way by the way this has a direction so it's words, and I know you won't be able to see the words, but th just trust me, there's words on that. So then all I did was cut out this little pattern, image, whatever you want to call it, from the DSP. We'll go ahead and get the glue back out for that. And then the, the key with glue is don't use very much, kids. Don't. You'll be happy, a happier camper with not using too much glue because then it doesn't squirt out everywhere and get all over your project, get all over your fingers. And I'm just gonna match up this. Uh, I'm gonna come down just a little bit. I'm matching, nope, I'm not. Gotta get the corner lined up. So I'm doing the corner and this. And then we are using the Lasting Joy stamp set. Let me give you a look at this. It was, it was $20, it's on sale for 10. I actually use this a lot because you can sneak in these little images everywhere and look at all these greetings. I like the font, I liked it mixed with the printing. Anyway, it's on sale for $10. If you're interested in it, you don't have it yet or if it's been on your wish list, we're gonna do happy birthday or what do I have? Birthday wishes. Oh, I thought it was in this stamp set. Maybe that was... Oh, no. It's here. I did get this one mounted. So I obviously got interrupted on those other cards where I didn't get the stamps mounted. But, you know, that's kind of par for the course around here. We're going to grab basic gray. Basic gray, and maybe it's out. Hang on. Basic gray. Oh, here it is. Oh, we want gray granite. Anyway. Because this... No? All right, sorry. We want basic gray. I was prepping another card this morning that was gray, gray granite. Had that on my brain. Okay, so we're gonna stamp birthday wishes. Uh, 
this little tag is from a set of tailor-made tags and a moment of silence for this set of dies because they are retiring. And I didn't, I don't think they're on sale. Um, but this is what they look like. And I used, I think this, the second one. But you also get all these little pieces that you can die cut that kind of reinforce their reinforcers for your tags. Don't miss this. If you don't have this, you need to have it. I didn't get the price on it, but it's called Tailor Made Tags. And again, all this will be on my project sheet that will be on my blog later today. So I apologize that it isn't there right now, but it will be there this afternoon. Okay, now we're going to grab this guy and we're going to just stick him right there with dimensionals. Now, I know I'm not making this one in five minutes, but maybe 10. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping. Oh, this needs to come down a little bit. Sometimes you can re you can move your dimensionals if you haven't really stuck stuck them down. And I usually don't stick stick down until I'm done. Okay, this um, faux leather trim, this has gold sheen on it, people. Yeah, I know you're not going to be able to see it, but this is another product I didn't pull out to my last team meeting. We made, I can't remember what, we didn't use, um, okay, thank Joey. We didn't use this set of products, but we did use, oh, we used the trusty tools. And I thought this went really good with the masculine theme of our projects. Um, the Trusty Tools Bundle is one that is stain, if you're wanting to know what I'm talking about. You know, I think I used, I think that's okay. For my first card, I just tied a knot. And I think I tied a knot because I was trying, earnestly trying to do five minute cards. And we're, we're so far past that, that... I'm going to tie a bow anyway, but if you're in a hurry, you're just going to tie a knot like this one. Do the same thing on this one, only with cutting the paper out from the sides. And then we will put this on with a mini glue dot. I usually put most of my ribbons and trims on with a mini glue dot. This one is a little bulkier, so that might be another reason for tying a knot instead of a bow. But I love this card. You guys, I love this card. I wish I'd have used this paper sooner. I just really do. do I have any of you that are out there, have you used this paper? Um, Kathy, I love the chit chat. It feels like I'm right there with you. I so wish you were right here with me. I keep thinking I'm going to do a stamp camp in the fall where maybe some of you that don't live near me could actually come because I would have it at a hotel. But, you know, it'll be lovely for you to just be here in my stamp studio, but I would love that because I'm a lot more comfortable with small groups. I think that's maybe why I like Facebook Live. Um, I'm an introvert and it it's a big deal for me to to be in crowds of people. Liz knows this. Um, but I do like small groups a lot. So here are our cards, my friends. So if you would like to get the card kits for these, just remember to use this host code. Um, I'm gonna try and get one each out here. This week, before Sunday, if your order's $40 or more, you'll get the supplies for one each of all these cards and the PDF tutorial. Let me just go up here. Here, let me get this up here. This should have been up further anyway. Then I get my cards in there. Oh, thank you, Kathy. You're welcome. Thanks for coming on Facebook Live. I know it's not the most convenient for you, Kathy, to be on Facebook Live instead of YouTube, but I'm still going to get there. I'm still looking into programs. Um... It's a long story, so I won't go into all, but because I've already kept you with my with my five-minute cards that took 
much longer. But you're the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest people. Thanks so much for watching. I treasure you. I value your friendships. I love that you're here. And I love to know what's going on in your life. So, you know, you can always pop on my Facebook page and just say, hey, Joey, I'm, you know, I'm making cards today and here's what I made. Or I'm out uh, taking care of the cats today. Or I, whatever you're doing, I love to know. And I'll share with you two things I'm doing. Mostly what I'm doing is taking care of a puppy lately and then doing a lot of sorting out retired products and trying to get ready for the new catalog. But also I want to make sure I'm not leaving any stone unturned with the current catalogs so that you don't miss anything. I hope you can use these templates. I hope that you um, can see the... Uh, what I want to say the the helpful hints and even if your card does take more than five minutes like my first one was kind of a hot mess but you know someone will love getting your card because it's from you and you made it and they'll just love hearing from you so that's why we do it yes we, we make cards to send to people and a gift to people to add joy to their lives and let them know we're thinking about them all right my friends um hey one other thing, if you, I'm sending a, a PDF of all of five cards I made with the Memories and More kit. It was a team project that I did for my team and I'm going to share it with all of you because they truly are faster cards than we made today. But um, the Memories and More kit, some of them, we have a beautiful one that's on sale. This, this PDF I'm going to send you. Um, has the has five cards on that that are current you can buy the products right now um, and they're on sale so sign up for my email list if you haven't signed up for my email list let me right now if you've stuck with me this long you're probably going to be wanting to be on my email list so let me get that link here and i'll put it in the comments if you're watching on uh, youtube i'll have this in the i'll have the link in the video description okay here it is sign up for my newsletter and free tutorials and i'll be sending it later this week i send them usually on friday or saturday sometimes sunday but usually earlier kathy you're a blessing thank you you love the last card the best you know i think maybe i do too i mean i I just, I'm just kind of floored that I didn't discover this paper earlier. She's talking about this one, if you're still watching this card. I love it too. And all you need is a greeting set. And you don't need these tags if you don't have them. You can just make your, uh, cut your paper that size and put a greeting. And then you don't need any stamps. You don't need any dies. You don't need any punches. You just need your paper. So I'm hoping that helped you. Let me know if it's helped you today. And if you make cards using any of these designs today, I would love to see them. You know, post them on my page. You can post them in my stampers group. So there's a Create with Joey stampers group. If you're not a member of that, uh, people post on there too. And I get to see what they're making. All right, you've stuck with me, my friends, for a video that wasn't supposed to be very long. And it turned out that way. But thanks for being here. Take care. I hope you'll stamp today. Bye-bye.